Good day, this is Mike Oldham with Lee Smith. You can reach me at 423-618-3323 or shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. I was with a client the other day and we were just starting the truck and several lights came up on the dash. He asked me more about them. Well, I decided to go ahead and open up the operation and maintenance manual and I flipped to page 47 in this, the HV International truck and wanted to go through all the different lights that you see uh, so that you'll know in a daily operation what might be happening with the truck. When you turn on your international truck that has this particular display layout, several lights will illuminate. Each of these lights will going to go over. As it goes through the different cycles, this is what is happening. The first light that you'll see is the curly Q light, which indicates that the engine components are warming up and you need to wait for the indicator flashes to start the engine. Next to it is the diesel particulate filter restriction, when there is a lot of restriction happening within your filter. The third lamp is a high exhaust system temperature warning, followed by the diesel exhaust fluid low, indicating that you need to pay attention to the levels of diesel fluid. So below the, below the speedometer there is a DEF tank gauge, which works in conjunction with the warning system. It is an additional backup. Moving along the gauge packages itself is the left turn signal. It lets you know that you're turning left. To the right of the left turn signal is the maintenance lamp. This lets you know with other warnings to indicate that a maintenance is due. If there is an issue with the transmission, the transmission fault warning lamp will appear next. The next lamp is an important one to pay attention to. This is a red stop lamp. This indicates a serious problem has occurred. You'll need to safely pull over, turn on the hazard flashers, stop the engine, and do not start the engine until after being serviced. The next lamp is a malfunction indicator lamp. This indicates that service vehicle at the first available opportunity. Aside from that is, the, is a wrench in an upside down triangle. This is an amber warning light and may illuminate under certain high load, high ambient temperature conditions. The lamp continues to stay on, service the vehicle at the first available opportunity. Beside that is the brake failure light, another very important lamp to be aware of. As should there be a failure within the braking system, this will immediately let you know of an issue taking place. The one that you'll see illuminate most often when you start your vehicle is the park lamp. Next to that is the right turn signal. There are four lamps in the upper right hand corner of the gauge. The first of those is the traction control if the truck is equipped with the traction control to let you know that traction control is active. For those trucks with trailer brakes, the next lamp is the trailer anti-lock brake illumination, followed by the ABS warning lamp for an anti-lock brake malfunction. Absolutely need to service the vehicle immediately. And the last is the electronic stability control. Stability control is a flashing indicator representing that the electronic stability control is engaged, while a solid indicator represents a fault in the system. Below the multi-informational display and to the left of the DEF and speedometer are four additional illuminating lights. Those are for the PTO to let you know that it is engaged, a reminder that your seatbelt needs to be fastened in case it is not, a low voltage warning lamp in addition to the cruise control being active and set. To the bottom left of the multi-informational display and the bottom right of the RPM and oil pressure indicator are the last four lights of this tour. The first of these lets you know when the high beam lights are active. The second one allows you to know when the engine brake is active. For those trucks with idle shutdown active, when you approach 30 seconds within the engine shutting off, this light will illuminate. And the last lamp is the differential locks. Whenever you engage the dash switch for the differential locks, this lamp will illuminate. So there you have the warning lights that are on the dash of your international HV truck. I hope this has been insightful. Please give me a call at 423-618-3323 or shoot me an email molden at lee-smith.com. I look forward to working with you on your next truck. As always, let me know what your thoughts are on this particular video 
and what additional programs you'd like to see. Make it a great day.